Hi, this is a review for Irvin Yalom's novel entitled The Schopenhauer Cure. I was attracted to this novel when it first came out in hardback in 2005 because, believe it or not, I had an intimate friendship breakup due to my avid interest in Schopenhauer and his philosophy, while my friend was an avid and committed objectivist, and any German philosopher was verboten, according to him. Very much like Philip Slate, the character in Yalom's novel, my friend used Ayn Rand the way Philip Slate used Schopenhauer keeping others at a distance and using only philosophy, never emotion to make sense of the world, my objectivist friend felt we were no longer compatible due to my intellectual curiosity about Schopenhauer, and he pushed me away. At the time of my reading of this novel, I realized that if it weren't for my strong interest in Schopenhauer and how to make sense of the man psychologically as well as philosophically, I probably would not have finished this work since it involves group therapy, on one side, and philosophical biography on the other. The combination is strange, but in this novel, and for this novel, Yalom does make it work. However, over the years, reading more about Schopenhauer, I find Yalom has done nothing but write a novel while misrepresenting Schopenhauer altogether. Yalom has pigeonholed Schopenhauer into a kind of individual suffering from Asperger syndrome, while speaking confusedly about the schizoidal personality. You will never learn from Yalom's novel that Schopenhauer has been or had been in a relationship with a woman for more than 10 years, that he had had sex with other women as well. This notion that Schopenhauer was a complete loner like someone with Asperger syndrome who cannot get involved with another human being as is the case with Philip Slate in this novel, is simply a mischaracterization of the man and the philosopher, and the portrait or portrayal is a myth. Schopenhauer also had a sister and a mother, and Yala makes very little reference to Schopenhauer's full life of relationships. So, this work must remain a novel simply a novel, because it deals with fictions, and the author doesn't make a clear distinction for the reader between schizoid people, that is, people who are eccentric and highly individualistic, and people suffering from some type of autism, who simply don't get other people's feelings, as is the case with Philip Slate.